Hi everyone, welcome to another brand new video in JS and RS Solution channel. In this video, I will show you how to create single legend for multiple maps in ArcGIS. Hope you will enjoy this tutorial. Uh, let's start then. Here is my data. Uh, actually, this is the temperature data for daily, weekly, monthly and annually. So first I will change the layout. I am selecting landscape. Then finish. zoom to extent right click and then copy and paste as I will uh, make uh, four maps uh, daily temperature weekly temperature uh, monthly and annually so uh, I need to copy uh, for uh, data frame you can do it same for your maps Uh, now go to your data then display actual data then Z field uh, first uh, I will uh, do for daily then uh, data export data okay then uh, go to a special analyze tools interpolation idw then z value first i will do for daily temperature output raster uh, you can uh, save your output uh, raster uh, in your pc where you want then go to environments and processing extent uh, extent uh, I will select uh, same as layer district and then uh, raster analysis I have to select mask uh, I will keep district as my mask data then click OK OK The first map uh, has uh, completed here. I will do uh, same for uh, another for monthly, uh, no weekly. Then again, uh, data, then export data. Click OK. then uh, again I don't need this data as IDW input point feature as export output 8 then Z value field uh, weekly environments processing extent uh, district and then raster analysis I will keep it uh, same as before mask uh, district then ok you can just follow the same steps uh, Symbology, then uh, you can change the color. I I'm selecting this color. Mm, 
will do for the same for another maps then go to properties you can increase or decrease the classes or for, you can format the labels Uh, I think as this is the temperature data so I think uh, I should keep a uh, fraction three okay now it is uh, okay Then again, insert uh, legend. Next, 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 finish. Then right click and go to properties, items, layout, properties. angle or text below the bar uh, 0 degree then ok if you want to uh, delete uh, the legend or value or label then you have to first convert to graphics and then ungroup them all ungroup again ungroup now I will delete uh, the label delete and then value delete now uh, group right click and then group if you want to flip uh, this legend then just right click on it and then rotate or flip Put it right uh, horizontal, then rotate uh, right. Now we can increase or decrease the lesion size or width. now you have to find the highest and lowest value of your data so now i will check the highest and lowest value for daily data short and filter and smallest to largest you can see here uh, the highest lowest is 24.3 highest is 42.3 for daily and then weekly Twenty forty two point four. Then monthly twenty point nine and forty two point one. Then annually smallest to largest uh, twenty three point two forty one point two. So we can see over here that our lowest value is twenty and our highest value is forty two point four. So I need to uh, break all the uh, values for same for all the uh, maps. So break values. I will uh, I will break uh, as uh, 20, 25, then 30, 
just give the uh, lowest and highest value and do the same for all the maps then okay Forty-five, as our highest bill is forty-two point four. Do the same for all other uh, maps. Twenty, twenty-five, then thirty, thirty-five, and then forty-five. Twenty five, thirty, thirty five, then forty five. Then okay. Now the value range for all uh, maps are same. Now I will uh, set the range uh, zero to uh, forty five, zero, then twenty. Just copy and paste. Copy and then paste here. It will be twenty five. Then again, copy and paste. And this time it will be twenty uh, thirty. Then thirty five and then forty five. Now I will group them all for that select all the number and levels then right click and group you can uh, add the grid new grid then appearances levels only the next next finish then go to properties and go to levels it can increase or decrease the sizes then vertical uh, levels as left and right the intervals 51 51 then okay okay you can do the same for all your maps You can also uh, add not arrow. Then 
we're heading the scale bar uh well i think now we can create a single legend for multiple maps i feel very happy when i see good messages from you guys that's that's really inspire me i'm happy to share my small knowledge with you if you like my this simple effort then please subscribe this channel and stay with us and always on always grateful and thanks a lot for being with us